up everybody welcome to the third tutorial in Dreamweaver last time we learned how to create a basic layout for a basic website and this time I'm gonna be talking about how to format text now at the bottom you can see we have some basic formatting options such as the font style the size of the font color and also you can bold and italicize your text so to do this, select the text you want to edit. I'm going to select my heading. And if you want to change the font style, just click it down here to font and select whatever you want to change it to. And if you have a font that you don't see on the list, you can click edit font list and you can see all of your available fonts. And if you want one, just select it and add it to the list then press OK. So I'm going to change my heading to this Pristina font and as you can see my heading has now changed font styles. I'm also going to click this text color option and change the color to blue. And if I clicked out of it you can now see that my font heading is now Pristina in blue. You can also format entire paragraphs like this say I wanted to change the size of this paragraph to make it larger I'd highlight the entire paragraph go down the size and click large as you can see the entire text is now larger and let's say I wanted to change the font to century gothic I'll just click that and now our font has been formatted to larger and century gothic now one thing you want to add sometimes to the bottom of your website is a copyright symbol and since you just can't type it in you're going to need to insert a special symbol from our text pane and to do that here's what you do under your insert panels at the top and if you can't see this just go to windows and make sure your insert panel is checked under your insert panel click the text tab now at the very right hand side you'll see a drop down list. If you click it you can see all the special characters you can add. If you click other characters you can see all of the characters. Or if you click it and drop down they give you a quick selection of some commonly used ones. So I'm going to go ahead and click the copyright one and as you can see it inserted a copyright symbol at the bottom of our website. So I'm going to just go ahead and type copyright the new boston.com and this is how you can add a copyright to the bottom of your web page. Now that we know how to insert special characters, let me talk to you about something called line breaks and non-breaking spaces. Anytime you want to make a new paragraph let's say we wanted to split this into two paragraphs and we pressed enter you can see that there's a space above and below this paragraph now this is useful when creating new paragraphs but sometimes you don't want this extra space in between and you just want to continue on to the next line well to do this you need to insert something called a line break and to do this hold down the shift key and then press enter as you can see now the text rather than having a space in the new paragraph it just continues on to the very next line this is very useful when you're trying to format paragraphs in this kind of way the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is called a non-breaking space now let's say you wanted to add some spaces between the first and heading words as you can see when I press spacebar it adds one space but if I keep tapping spacebar then it doesn't add any more spaces this is to better organize the code but sometimes you actually wanna actually add some more spaces so if you actually wanna add some more spaces and not just one if you press the spacebar it doesn't do a whole lot so here's what you need to do hold down the control and shift key on your keyboard and then when you press space 
you're allowed to add more spaces to your website. And this is how you make a non-breaking space. Now let's say you want to add a date and time to your website. To do this is very easy. Some people add it at the bottom of their website to show when their webpage was last updated. Just go up to insert and go down to date. You now have a list of dates you can add to your website. So pick the format you want. And if you're thinking, all right, I could just type that in, it'll probably be a lot quicker. Well, here's a secret to inserting dates on your website, this box right here. Automatically update on save. Check that and click OK. Now what this does is every time you save your file, it automatically updates the date for you so you never have to change it again. And that's when people say last updated, this is the feature that they use. And one of the last things I want to talk to you guys about is the spell check feature on Dreamweaver. So let's just type a wrong word here, apple, and we'll type it correct right there. To use a spell check, highlight any of the text that you want to check. Then go up to the text in your main menu and click check spelling. As you can see, it found that the word apple that we typed wrong was not found in the dictionary. So it gives us many suggestions. Click the one that we want and click change. If you don't want it, then you can click ignore. And it says, do you want to continue checking the rest of the document in this t case that we don't? So we'll click no. Now anytime you want to undo a previous action, you can click hold down the control key and press Z to undo. As you can see, it undoes what we just did and changes it back to Apple spelled wrong. And anytime you want to redo it, hold down the control key and press Y. These are some hotkeys that are very useful. Now that we learn how to format basic text, add some line breaks and non-breaking spaces, add an automatically updating date and time, and also undo and redo and spell check. We're ready to begin formatting our paragraphs. In, we'll do that in the next section, but if you missed anything we went over today, I'm gonna have it all on my site, thenewboston.com, so you can check it out for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Thank you.